And welcome back. The legacy of the first woman invited to paint a mural for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1947 will live on through her family who keeps her art alive. Minerva Teichert studied at the Art Institute of Chicago. Her work displayed at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts and the Brigham City Museum. Although she passed in 1976, as we said, her art lives on. So joining us here in studio is Errol Teichert, the artist's great, great grandson. Thank you for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're excited to talk about this. First off, let's just give people an idea of who your great-great-grandmother was. Oh, that's a loaded question. Right? Uh, <laughs> that is loaded. How are you going to summarize it? Yeah. Uh, well, she was she was an artist, like, for first and foremost, I think. Uh, well, she was, she was an artist. She was a woman of faith. She was a mother. She was a wife. She was a pioneer. A uh, lot of, lot of terms Things. that we could that we could list there yes. uh, but she was very determined I think that's that's what everyone I've talked to has told me about her my dad and my grandpa uh, both said that she was very just determined at everything she did that's incredible and, and then her legacy gets to continue on through yeah. all of you what's it like experiencing because now there is a gallery of her mm. art tell us a bit about what it's like to ex experience this gallery the gallery was super cool uh, the the opportunity to go through and and uh, see some of those works uh, that I was so familiar with growing up, uh, as well as some works that I wasn't quite familiar with. Um, I had never been inside the Provo Tabernacle before it burned down, and so to see just a little strip, the little strip that was recovered uh, from that fire was was kind of mind blowing. Just thinking about that. I was just about to bring that up. The the Tabernacle fire that took place in Provo. Tell us then a bit about. Uh, what that experience was like because her art was hanging there. Tell us what that story is. It's weird because like I said, I'd never been in there, but it, it did feel like <clears throat> like a it, it, there, there was some there was some a very personal sense of loss mm -hmm. to it because uh, um, any, Anyone in the family who's inclined toward art uh, would would be able to tell you that that uh, That that art means a lot to them and it had a profound impact on on us and so to hear that that had been destroyed, that priceless piece of original art yes. uh, was, was um, it was a loss. That is a loss. Okay, our time is wrapped up, sadly. We <laughs> keep going about this and with the exhibit, but tell yeah. us, we have to ask, are there other painters in the family since Minerva? Um, there, I, there are a bunch of people in the family who paint and draw very well, I know. Uh, and I, I'm a filmmaker, so it oh. kind of continues in a different medium, but yes. still a very visual one. You've got that artistic yeah. talent that was passed down. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us here today, Errol. We Thank appreciate you. it. Congratulations on this legacy that's continuing on through the family, continuing with the great-great-grandmother's art. We appreciate you coming in today. Thank you for having us. All right, coming up, a pop